Starting off with the brows, make sure to glue all the hairs down. The more flatter the hairs are, the smoother the texture will be when we layer with foundation. I had to glue this around two times. Next, using a translucent powder, grab a sponge and press the powder onto the glued eyebrows. Then, let it set for a few minutes. Next, using a full coverage foundation, cover your brows. After that, wait a few minutes and then set it again with translucent powder. While we wait for the eyebrows to dry, we'll start with the primer to prime the face and eyes. Next, cover the face with a wet foundation. I decided to use a wet foundation because it's easier to manipulate and if you mess it up, you can fix it since it won't set so quickly. I actually changed my mind and decided to mix both full coverage and wet foundation to layer my face. Next, drawing your brows. I drew them starting where my natural eyebrows grow, but drew them higher than my natural eyebrows. Then I layer the colors to darken the brows, and if you mess up, don't worry, since the foundation is still wet, you can always erase it with a q-tip. Using a pink warm color, apply this all over your eyelid and fan it out similar to a wing. Next, using a brown color, apply this onto your eyelid and feather it out onto your lower lash line. Next, using a shimmer color, apply this onto the top of your eyelid. Using a felt pen eyeliner, apply this to your eyelid and try to make this line as thin as possible. Next, curl your lashes and then add false eyelashes to your natural eyelash. Use mascara on your eyelashes to blend in false lashes. Also apply mascara to the lower lash line. Next, contour the sides of your eyes starting where your nose bridge begins to the hall of your eyes. In the end, I decided to soften the shade with another brush and blended the contour inwards. Using your creamy blush and lip product, apply this to your cheeks and lips. To blend the blush, I used a fluffy brush to soften the look.
Draw freckles with a white pencil on the upper part of the cheekbone. How I made the product more wet was to mix the product with some water. This is totally optional, but contour around the face to make it smaller. Lastly, put on the wig and make sure it fits well, and then add in your headpiece to finish the look. And that's it, you're done. I had tons of fun with this look and there are a few mistakes that I'm not proud of, but please forgive me. This look was inspired by stuff from Ghibli, Final Fantasy, and other ethereal things. Hope you enjoyed it again, and if you guys could, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.